real quick I want to talk about nutrient deficiency in pepper plants now none of these plants had, were, had nutrient deficiencies to start but I want to just show you what happens this is the um, these plants were, were all germinated in January I think maybe a couple were February um, but you can see how light colored they're getting let me let the Sun really hit them uh, some of them are a little greener than others but you're gonna start seeing some yellowing leaves now for some reason this is my cross this is the uh, super ghost caramel it's still really green um, the purple ones is kind of hard to tell with oh look at that got a ripe look at that beauty yeah you know what that is but you can see they're starting to yellow um, and that's fine I, I have not give them any fertilizer at all uh, this one is really a, a good example uh, this is the actual the biggest plant uh, in the raised beds and it is just you know it's it's on its way out um, what I did was I put uh, blood meal and bone meal in the soil but you have to figure something that's a weed growing right back there okay this is all weeds you got the stinging nettles and this grass this really thick grass right there so what's happened is those uh, those weeds have have taken a lot of nutrients and they're especially around this plant this one plant has weeds and different all different kinds of species of weeds growing around it now it's still throwing pods um, it's still it's got ripe pods actually I picked off of it yesterday and you can see there's still ripe pods there um, but it's at the end of the season it's at the end of the go around so but you know what you're gonna see is some of your plants will get like this now the weeds aren't as bad over here and you can see this golden primatelli plant is still pretty green uh, it's still doing really good and it's actually still flowering even but um, if you don't fertilize your plants a lot of people my thing is this I don't want to put nitrogen in the beginning I, I like I said I put the blood meal and the bone meal in the soil and what that does is it just naturally lets them get enough to get them to with the point the bone meal helps them flower the blood meal helps with nitrogen but after so much rain and after so much watering that stuff washes out and so yeah and some of these purple ones it's kind of hard to tell of course because the foliage is not the, the same but this yellow scorpion plant uh, that's an overwintered one you can see there's two overwintered plants in here and both of them are still pretty green um, a little bit of yellow one on the top here but yeah for how much sunlight these are getting I mean 13 hours a day um, and you know they they just I, I mean I've, I've kept up on water and I'm pretty good so you're gonna see that and the, the, the nutrient deficiency now what what could have I done different um, is I, I probably could have uh, put a little more blood meal on the top of the soil okay um, I could have put more blood meal on the top of the soil so that would slowly get a little bit of nitrogen you don't want too much nitrogen because then you can get flower drop um, they can make your pods a bit more bitter I heard I'm not sure if that's true or not but I do believe that that's a, the possibility because I had got pods from somebody that puts nitrogen in their soil like through the whole season and their pods were all very bitter and very floral yeah, so I, I don't know um, it's kind of hard to tell but yeah like I said with the purple foliage you're not gonna see it as much um, but then some of these plants this one here in particular this one has been very yellow looking for a while and then the one back there that I showed you that is really bad so um, uh, it, it's fine I'm pretty much I'm not at the end of my season here we still have some time left but I do have pods on you know there's a lot of green pods yet that, that haven't ripened yet um, so I'm still get I still have pods on the plants and I do not plan on trying to run a late season I, I wanted my pods to come early I wanted to get a jump start on things and I wanted an early harvest and I, I don't even feel I don't even feel like really going into a late harvest and worrying about a first frost and all that stuff uh, actually some plants they do get burned out so you can see there's maybe one or two there's some little yeah that one fell off you see some flowers coming on um, but they don't flower as much this time of year when they haven't had the proper nutrients and that's fine with me um, I won't have an issue when a plant gets completely burned out where there's no more fruit there's no more flowers I will pull it out of the ground 
and throw it out or I will use it for overwintering um, at that point in time. And actually plants that are real yellow, they're really good for overwintering. I, I don't know why, but they just are. Um, yeah, so this one here, I, I'm not gonna overwinter this plant in particular, but it's, it does have a massive stalk on it. Um, I just don't plan on growing that variety next year. So uh, these two bad boys, possibly, possibly, because these are already plants that were from 2021. They were both germinated in 2021. And I, I just, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens if I keep these plants alive and how long I can, how many years I can go with them. So yeah, I just want to talk to you quick about nutrient deficiency in your plants.